What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the discount amount, the discount rate, and the sell price of an item. Okay, and the two formulas we're going to be using are right up here. So let me walk you through these real quick. So first of all, the discount amount is equal to the discount rate times the original price. So let's say you were buying something. The discount amount is how much money the person selling it is taking off. Okay, so this will be in dollars. And so then that's equal to the discount rate. So this rate is a percentage. And then multiplied by the original price, right? And I think original price is pretty self-explanatory. And this is also in dollars. So those are the units for the first formula, all right? Now this second formula says that the sale price is equal to the original price minus the discount amount. Okay, so the sale price is how much you actually pay for the discounted item. So this is going to be in dollars, and it's equal to the original price, which again is in dollars, and then that's going to be minus the discount amount. Okay, so this is in dollars again, like it was up here. Okay, so now that we sorted that out, let's jump into our first example here. So this problem says, I bought a really nice butt scratcher on Amazon. They normally cost $140, but the discount rate is currently 35%. So we're going to find first the discount amount and then second the sale price. Okay, so first let's find the discount amount. So again, the discount amount is this first formula and it's equal to the discount rate, which in the problem it says is currently 35%. So it's equal to 35% times the original price times and then what's the original price well it says right here they normally cost 140 dollars so 140 dollars is the original price okay so the discount amount is equal to 35 percent times 140 dollars now we can't leave our discount rate as a percentage here okay we have to turn it to a decimal we always have to turn percents to decimals to be able to work with them okay so how do you turn a percent to a decimal. Well, I'll do it over here really quick. So an easy way of doing this is just ignoring or getting rid of your percent sign, okay? Now we just have the number 35, right? Where is the decimal on the number 35? Well, it would be right there, okay? So then all you have to do is move the decimal two times to the left. So it'd go one, two. Okay, so that's where our decimal is now. All right, so 35% as a decimal would be 0.35, or in other words, 0 0.35, okay? So I'll write that over here. 35% as a decimal would be 0 0.35. So the discount amount is equal to 0 0.35 times 140. Okay, so then you're just gonna plug this into your calculator. So you're gonna do 0 0.35 times 140, and that's gonna give you 49. 49 what? Well, remember, this is our discount amount, right? So, and I'll just abbreviate that, the discount amount, and remember the units for our discount amount is in dollars, right? So this is dollars, okay? So the discount amount is equal to $49. Okay, so now let's move on to the second question right here. So now we have to find the sale price, right? And going back to our formulas up here, the sale price is equal to the original price minus the discount amount. Okay, so I'll abbreviate that. So the sale price is equal to the original price. So what was the original price again? 140, right? $140, okay? And then we're gonna subtract, right? We're gonna subtract the discount amount. What is the discount amount? Well, we just found it, right? It was $49. So 49. Okay, so 140 minus 49 would be $91, all right? So the sale price of the butt scratcher would be equal to $91. So to recap, the butt scratcher originally cost $140, but it was discounted an additional $49 right, the discount amount, so I only had to pay 
$91, okay? In other words, the sale price. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too bad. Let's just do one more example here. Okay, so down here it says, I bought a t-shirt on sale for $13.95. The original price is $31. So first we're gonna find the discount amount and then second we're gonna find the discount rate, okay? So again, the discount amount is this first formula right here, right? So it says the discount amount is equal to the discount rate times the original price. So what's the discount rate? Well, we actually don't know it, right? Because we still have to find it here. So that didn't help us. So let's look at this second formula, okay? Can we use this formula instead to find the discount amount? Well, this one says the sell price is equal to the original price minus the discount amount. Okay, so do we know any of these quantities right here? Well, we do, right? Because we know the sale price. What's the sale price? So it says I bought a t-shirt on sale for $13.95. So the sale price is equal to $13.95, okay? So the sale price is equal to $13.95. And that's gonna be equal to, right, equal to the original price. What's the original price? Uh, well, it says right here, the original price is $31, $31. And then we're going to subtract, right? We're going to subtract the discount amount. And I'll just put that as the letter A for amount. So our formula down here is now 1395 is equal to 31 minus the discount amount, or in other words, just A, right? So how do we solve for A right here? Well, we need to isolate our variable here on one side of this equal sign, right? So that means I have to get rid of this 31. So since I have a positive 31, I'm gonna subtract 31. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other, right? So if I subtract 31 here, I also have to subtract 31 from here. Okay, and I'm gonna scroll down to give myself some more room right here. So let's simplify some things. So here I have 31 minus 31, right? So that's just gonna go to zero. So we're just gonna be left with negative A on this side. And then on this side, we have 13.95 minus 31. Okay, so then you're just gonna plug this into your calculator and that's gonna be equal to negative 17.05. And again, that's gonna be equal to, right, equal to negative A, negative A. But I wanna isolate A by itself, right? So that means I need to get rid of this negative sign. So how do you do that? Well, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is divide by negative one, okay? And again, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other, right? So negative A divided by negative one would just give us A, okay? Because this negative sign cancels out with this negative one down here. And the same thing ends up happening on this side. So this negative sign ends up canceling out with this negative one right there. Okay, so since the negative signs cancel out, on this side, we're just left with 17.05, right? 17.05 is equal to just A. So the discount amount, remember the units are in dollars. Okay, so the discount amount is $17.05. So this would be the answer for the discount amount. Okay, now let's figure out what our discount rate is. And I brought down the formulas just so you can refer back to them. So the formula with the discount rate is this one up here, right? So this one says the discount amount is equal to the discount rate times the original price. Okay, so do we know our discount amount? Yes, we do. We just found it, right? It was 17.05. So I'll write that right here. And that's going to be equal to right, equal to the discount rate, which we don't know, we're looking for it, so I'll just abbreviate that with the variable R for rate, and then we're gonna multiply that by the original price. And what was the original price? Uh, well, if you look back here, it says the original price is $31, okay, so 31, okay? Now, how do you solve for R right here? Well, again, the point is to isolate R by itself on one side of this equal sign. So since we're multiplying by 31, in order to get rid of it, we're going to divide by 31. And again, what you do to one side, you do to the other. So on the right side here, the 31's 
cancel out. So we're just going to be left with R. So I'll write that over here, R. And that's going to be equal to, right, equal to 17.05 over 31. 17.05 over 31. So this fraction right here simplifies to 0 0.55. So that's equal to R. So 0.55 is equal to our discount rate. So is this your final answer? No, because remember, your rate, your discount rate is a percentage, right? This is a decimal. So how do you turn this decimal into a percentage? Well, quick way of doing that is just grab your decimal and move it two times to the right. So we're going to go one, two. Okay, so that's where your decimal is now. So instead of 0.55, we're going to have 55. So 55%, okay, so that's equal to R. So the discount rate is equal to 55%. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.